Okay, hi. So anyway, I was actually on Periscope and I don't know what happened to the sound, but it, it just kept going in and out like people were saying. But um, I was talking about throw Jezebel down. That was my topic. Um, what God was telling me is that so much is out of order in the church. He's been speaking to me about this for almost a month now. And I've been trying to correlate and just kind of like process and actually try to just um, look at God, what God was saying. And to be honest with you, he's right. I mean, I've watched it over and over again. And this is what I mean by throw Jezebel down. What is happening is that the head is supposed to be Christ first, then the husband, then the wife. Now we have things that are out of order because too many wives are stepping in and doing, overstepping their boundaries. That's what God said, to be honest with you. What is the spirit of Jezebel? Because now let's go in First Kings, first chapter, it says, and Ahab went to his wife and told her this about Elijah. Then in chapter 21, it talks about Ahab going again because he wanted Naboth. He wanted his vineyard and he told Jezebel. So what is happening? That's out of order right then and there. You're supposed to, as a man of the cloth, have at least leaders in place, elders, deacons, whatever the case may be, bishops, where you can go to them and seek wise counsel. But what you're doing is you're going to your home and telling your wife what's going on in the church. And now, therefore, Jezebel's spirit is being rebirthed all over again. And that's why the churches don't have no power. Because Jezebel is in control and not the head, which is the man. So now, the difference between Jezebel being in control and godly people being in control because when you're seeking God, God is going to give you the perspective of how everything's supposed to be in the church and how it's supposed to flow. Jezebel, which is AKA your wife, she's going to teach it and, and do it how it better serves her and you because she's, see, she's looking at you like a husband and not a head. Come on, somebody. And so now she's out of order because she's trying to concoct something, manipulate something. Now she's working out a spirit of witchcraft. Come on, somebody. That's why witchcraft has ended in the church even more so because people are trying to manipulate something instead of go back to God, which is the oracles of God. Go back to your God. Y'all not fasting. You're not you know you're not you're not fasting you're not praying and you're not doing things in order and that's why things are out of order because she's the, she's not looking at you as the man of god per se she's looking at that's my husband and so now i, I got i got to help make it right when that's not her place her place was to pray for you come on somebody hallelujah in here the place today i say throw jezebel down that's what god says time for the church to throw jezebel down and this is how you throw her down you pray that spirit out of that person or cast it out whichever one come on somebody but it's too much stuff going on that's why the church is out of order because jezebel wants to be in control and run things and then she want to sit like she ain't did nothing you know, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Stop it. It's ugly. And people can see right through it. People can see right through it. You know how you prompt, you prompt up something and you put something out in the forefront and you act like you ain't did it, but everybody know you did it. Everybody know it's you woman. And that's not of God. God is saying, get everything back in order. Christ is the head, then the man, and then the wife. But actually in church, let me tell you how this really is supposed to go. Christ the head, the man of God, and the people of God in church. Now in true home, that's when God, you, and then your wife. But in church, let me do it again for you in case you don't know the oracles of God. God, you, and the people of God, the souls of God. Somebody got that out of order. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so that's why God is saying, throw Jezebel down. And, and all you got to do it is, who, 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 who's for me? Who's with me? God says, who, who, is there anybody that serves God? Is there anybody that's fasting? Is there anybody that's praying? Is there any somebody? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. We got to get and get this thing together. That's why the church is out of order. Because Jezebel has, is dethroning 
the men of God. That's right. She's in control. He it looks like he's in control. He walks like he's in control. He talks like he's in control. But she's pulling all the strings. And I witnessed it this weekend on a thread where they were talking about certain things about the hundred men that's getting together with um, Donald Trump. Women of God, you have no busy coming, running to your husband's aid. Because if God don't have his back, then who, who truly has his back? It's out of order. And I'm not bashing anyone. That's, that's not what this video is about. So please don't take it like that. But this is a dust said the law. Throw Jezebel down. Jezebel has done too much. She's alive, more alive than she ever was. And that's because, and let me tell you what's, what's the, the spirit that's actually attached to Jezebel. Jealousy. Jealous of the young women in the church. That's, that's what's going on. And come on, somebody. We might as well just tell it all tonight. The, the Bible says that the older women ought to entreat the younger women. And it's not happening because of the fact you want to be the star. You want everything surrounded by you. Well, guess what? There's going to be young, attractive prophecies. There's going to be young, attractive um, evangelists. There's going to be young and attractive just ministers. There's going to be young and attractive women. Get over it. You older women ought to stop that foolishness. You, you know, instead of the Bible says that you're supposed to teach the younger women. Instead of teaching the young women to cover up and, and, and in a loving way. You can tell them in a loving way. You, you want to compete with them. You start sewing your 50-year-old, 60-year-old, 40-year-old breasts. Excuse me. Yeah, I said it. I sure did, didn't I? Hmm. Start wearing skirts. You know that's not of God. So that's why the young women are not doing what they're supposed to do. Because they're not being taught to. It's not their fault. Seriously, and that's what God said. Now you got greedy spirit. You, you, you're teaching them to want more instead of wanting God more. And then manipulation. So you have the, the Jezebel spirit, which is dominant. Then you have jealousy. Then you have greed. And then you have manipulation. Because God forbid, if you are over these young women, if they don't do what you say to do, then you'll make it. Very uncomfortable for them in the church. And I experienced that myself. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to say no name. But I remember. Oh, yes, I'm going to tell this story. I remember I was in the church in Sacramento. And I had leaned over to give pastor and bless him with some money and a book. And this woman of God, first lady, threw me. Literally threw me, yeah. Took my hand and sling me in the chair on side of her. I literally just closed my eyes. I was so embarrassed because the church was full and packed and I know everybody saw what happened. And I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? Because I'm not an out of order person. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not going to sit here and say that, but I'm not out of order. And I'm telling you, I just closed my eyes because I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my God, I wish I could disappear like right now. And I looked toward pastor and I said, I'm so sorry. He said, you didn't do anything. Right then and there. And this was in 2000, what, six, seven, eight, something like that. I knew then women were out of order, doing too much. And the only reason you feel insecure is because you're not going to God. Women, the reason why you're trying to dominate everything, even your, your man, the man of God, is because you're not doing your position. Your position as a woman of God, a first lady, is supposed to be on that threshing floor, not giving your opinion. Not given how you think it should be or how you think the church should be run. You out of order. Your thing is to get before God and gird that man of God and say, baby, did you go to God? Honey, did you go to God? Man of God first, to be honest with you. Did you go of God? Now in your home, he's baby and honey and boo boo and susu and everybody else. Okay. But when it comes to the church, man of God, did you seek God? So that's why, that's why the church is out of order. And again, Throw Jezebel down. And that's not being disrespectful to people. But just get together. Y'all know what's going on. You all know how to do it. Get together like hands fast and pray. That spirit is going to have to get out of that church. So that's what's going on. And, and, and even in business. You, you men of God. You stop seeking God. You have stopped seeking God. And now you got your, your wives on the side being messy. Instigating. All this stuff. You all can't see us out of order. Really? You know, y'all don't like me because I tell the truth, and, and then y'all like y'all y'all pretty much don't like the way I tell the truth. But at least it's the truth, right? It's out of order. The church is out. Of, that's why we ain't got no power as a church. I got power. I'm sorry because I'm gonna be in order. I'm gonna be holy. I'm gonna do what thus saith the Lord. But 
we as a church, and that's the whole thing, is all about, well, I, I got mine together. You know, we got ours. Our church is over here, but are we not one body, one Lord, one baptism? We are each other's keepers. And it's time to really see that, not trying to be greater than one. And I'm, I'm going to say something, and I'm just going to be real. Pastor Jamal Bryant, now I understand where he was coming from. He put it out there about them meeting with Donald Trump, the 100 pastors, and, you know, he really blasted them. But, sir, and I, and I love all of you. I'm going to say it again, love all of you, regardless of what you do and how you do it when you do it. But now <laughs> you're contra contradicting yourself because now, not even two days later, you're going to meet with Hillary Clinton and Benny Sanders. and I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, do you, do you all understand what this looks like? Looks like you, <laughs> I'm just going to pray. I'm going to pray for everybody. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm just going to pray. Because if you all don't see how the enemy is just playing people against each other, then Lord have mercy on all of us. But as for that spirit of Jezebel, throw her down. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon with Raw and Uncut, The Truth.